Hey guys, it's WT here from the Coin Alley, and in this episode of the Coin Alley, I'll show you guys how to claim your Litecoin Cash. So as you may have recalled last week in um, my episode of Subscriber's Choice, I covered Litecoin Cash. We talked about how it wasn't affiliated with uh, Litecoin. The fork occurred on Sunday. I remember we went to the web page and we looked and we saw that the fork did occur. Uh, now yesterday they did made some enhancements to the website. They added the download files for the wallet and they also included a bootstrap. So the bootstrap is actually a copy of the Litecoin blockchain. So it actually gives you the ability to sync up the uh, blockchain a little bit faster. Now, it took me about three and a half hours to sync the actual Litecoin blockchain with the bootstrap. If I didn't have the bootstrap, it would have taken probably close to 12, to 14 hours but that certainly depends on the speed of your internet connection so the step for me was I have a Mac so I went ahead and I downloaded the QT wallet from from Mac which you see right here and then after I downloaded the wallet I went ahead and I also downloaded the bootstrap and then the bootstrap is about eight and a half gigabytes so it is a very large file I went ahead, installed it, um, downloaded it rather, and then after I downloaded the file, it was a zip file, so I extracted the file, and then I ended up with the bootstrap um, DAT file. And then you would put that file in your Litecoin Cash folder, and that's for users who are currently on uh, Mac. If you're using a Windows machine or a Windows PC, they have instructions for Windows where you would place your bootstrap uh, file. Now the Litecoin blockchain goes all the way back to 2011, so that's about seven years of information that is being uh, synced to your uh, machine. So the bootstrap definitely helped. Uh, it cut down the that time that it would have taken to sync all that history uh, to a, a very short period of time. Still about three hours, three and a half hours, uh, but it definitely did uh, make that process a little bit faster for me. So here on the Litecoin Cash site, you can actually go ahead and you can check your uh, balance of your Litecoin Cash uh, just by entering your address. All right, so here is the the client, and we'll be going ahead and claiming our Litecoin Cash. So I've gone ahead, I've um, encrypted my wallet. It's all synced together, and then all you got to do is go here and import your private keys, and that's what we'll be doing here next. We'll be importing our private keys and claiming our Litecoin Cash. All right, so once you obtain your private keys, or key, you'll go ahead and you'll paste it right here. Once you've pasted your private key, then you'll go ahead and click OK. And then you'll be prompted uh, to rescan. So that's what we'll do next. We'll go ahead and we'll proceed with our private key, and then we'll hit OK. And remember, we are practicing safe forking. So when you paste your private key here, this should be the private key to your empty Litecoin wallet because you would have moved your Litecoin back to its original location or to another wallet after the fork. That way you do not put your Litecoin in jeopardy. So the private key that we paste here will be for our empty Litecoin wallet. 
All right, so I've pasted my private key, and now I need to go ahead and enter my encryption password to unlock my wallet. All right, key successfully added. Rescan now. Select no if you have more keys to import. Or you only have that one key, so we'll go ahead and hit yes. And it's rescanning. And while we're waiting for this rescan to occur, let's take a look at Litecoin Cash. So right now over on Coin Codex, Litecoin Cash is trading at $7.22. So not bad for some free coins, right? At this point, I'm planning on just holding on to my Litecoin Cash. I'll see where it goes, and then at that point, I'll decide uh, what I'll do eventually with my uh, free Litecoin Cash. But as of right now, I have no plans on actually selling any of my Litecoin Cash. So who knows where this will end up. All right, we're still waiting. And as you can see, the process is actually still going on. So, so far it's been going on about, I believe, close to 10 minutes, and it is still rescanning. All right, and here we are. So after about 10, 11 minutes, the scan was complete, and here is my Litecoin Cash balance that is now re reflecting here in uh, the Litecoin Cash wallet. And over here you see the transaction that just shows the, um, the different days and the different amounts of Litecoin Cash that has been awarded based on my balance on each of these days in my wallet. So the process was pretty simple. Um, downloading the wallet, uh, which was probably took the most uh, time is actually getting the whole blockchain to sync. The wallet installation uh, took about five minutes, five to six minutes. Then downloading the blockchain took about about 15 minutes, but that depends on the speed of your internet. And then you have to uh, sync the wallet, and that took about about three, three and a half hours. So um, not uh, bad for some free tokens, which currently are worth $7.15, and the price will more than likely go up. People are saying that this could get to be around 50 bucks, but you know, as of right now, as I mentioned, I'm just gonna be holding my Litecoin Cash and see how that shakes out. All right, guys, I hopefully you enjoy the video. Hopefully I was helpful. Please give me a thumbs up if you did like the video. And as always, please comment and subscribe if you are not a subscriber. All right, guys, that's it for this episode of The Coin Alley. Thanks for tuning in. Until next time, take care of yourself and, of course, each other.